Hey, in this video I want to show you how DaVinci Resolve's power windows work along the tracker. So let's dive into it. Let's start with the most common way to use power windows and that's to create a vignette. As you can see the vignette helps us to focus more on the center of the image. I'm going to reset this node, go to my window tool, select a circular window, dragging this point I'm just going to position my power mask where I wanted it. Dragging the yellow line, what I'm doing is creating a feather to the mask that helps it blend a bit more and make it less noticeable. Actually what I want to do right now is affect the surrounding of, of, the, of the mask. The center I want to leave it as it is. So I'm inverting the mask and now I'll go to my primary color wheels I'm going to go with the gamma down, pressing the number on the node, turn it on or off to see the result. And I'm quite happy with this one. If I disable the node now, now you can see the difference. In this case, I draw a mask for my foreground and then I just did a oval power window in the middle to highlight the people that are there. Reset this note because I want to show you exactly how I created these masks. This time I'm going to choose the curve tool and with the curve tool what I can do is to draw points exactly where the borders of my mask have to be. Now that I'm happy with this mask, what I want to do is adjust the softness. I want always my mask to be really soft so they can really blend in. Go again to my primary color wheels, bring down the gamma, maybe with the lift. Want to make the foreground a bit darker. And also what I want to do, I'm just going to my blur tool and I'm just going to give it a bit of blur. Just a tiny bit. You have to be very careful not to overdo it. Check one more time the position of my mask. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to my tracker window and on my tracker control, track it forward. So you can see the tracker works super fast and now my mask, it's in position. Before and after, what I did to the foreground, so we, we took a bit of the attention out of the foreground, but now let's just focus it more on them. To do that, select a circular power window and I'm going to position it right here. I'm going to track it forward. Super fast, the mask is in place. I'm just going to push a bit again to generate a bit more contrast and to have the feeling that there's more, more light in them. I have to be very careful not to overdo it. I'm going to sharpen them. So before and after. That's it for today. I hope you liked it. If you want to have access to the DaVinci Resolve project to see how I grade the rest of the shots and also to the footage, consider subscribing to my Patreon. There you will find these assets and many more. Thank you and see you in the next one.